Hi, and welcome back to Simple Home and School. Today I'm going to show you a flip through of Patterns of Nature by Rod and Staff. This is a very budget friendly curriculum if you are on a tighter budget, but it's also an amazing curriculum that we will be using this year. We have not used it yet, but I've read really great reviews. I have read through um, the book. You can get the teacher and the student's guide for only $11.35. Imagine teaching your children science for less than $12. Um, with Rod and Staff curriculum, I really do like to supplement with extra library books just to enhance the curriculum, but that's not necessary if you don't want to do that. I also don't feel like you need the teacher's guide for this curriculum. So guys, let's have a budget-friendly school year and just use the student guide and teach your kids for less than $8 for the whole science curriculum. I think that's pretty amazing. So let's take a flip through of this. Again, this is second grade. I think you can use this for um, younger kids. I am using it for my kindergarten and second grader this year. So here is our table of contents. There's 30 chapters. So you could do one lesson a week or, you know, you could do um, several lessons a week, but, you know, to have the seasons be your guide and then several other days a week, you know, go on Pinterest and grab seasons um, projects and unit studies and get books from the library and you can stretch it as long as you want or just use this and do it once a week, short and sweet. Uh, seeds, weeds and wildflowers, trees, plants we eat, uh, farm animals, the zoo, pets, mammals, winter birds, stars, moon, sun, weather, etc. So let's get into this. They usually always start with a coloring page and I like my students to color these pages while I um, do the reading and the readings are not very long and here you can see they're identifying um, the seasons. So the reading's two pages and then we um, have this questionnaire. Coloring page, reading, and then questionnaire, and then they have a matching activity. Coloring page, reading. I mean, this is great for the spring. You could save this chapter for the spring, talking about weeds and wildflower. You can get an Audubon book on different weeds and then go out in the field and do a nature study and paint the different weeds you see. And I use your Audubon, Audubon book to identify them. So you can really expand this a lot. This is a great just guide and start and it's great by itself. Um, here's tree study. You know, you could do this tree chapter and then go outside and do different bark rubbings and identify the trees in just your backyard. You don't even have to go out hiking anywhere. Okay, the plants we eat. You can go to the grocery store after this and go grocery shopping and look at the different vegetables and beans um, at the store that you eat. And then a review chapter, test, farm animals, the zoo, you know, obviously you could go to the zoo after this, pets, questions, there's a cute crossword, coloring picture, reading, mammals in the winter, then identifying different tracks. So you could go out in the snow after a day that it snows and identify to see if there's any animal tracks in your yard. If not, you can print some out and place them in your yard for your children to look at. And this is a great reason to get a bird feeder, um, the winter birds chapter, so you can watch the different birds that you see out your window questionnaire. So this is just a look at Patterns of Nature by Rod and Steph. I really don't think you need the teacher's guide. Let's just look at the teacher's guide real quick. Um, so you, like I said, you can be homeschooling your child or multiple children like I am for less than um, $8. So look, here's the tree chapter. Here's your objective, your vocab words, which you can pick whichever vocab words you want if you don't use the teacher's guide and then just what you're going to do and then the answers okay and then they also have an extra activity here at the bottom so it is useful but um, it's not a necessity here's the plants so your objective your vocab words your lesson 
your answers. I really like to do kind of Charlotte Mason with this and do a notebooking page or a dictation page along with the lessons. And then um, with the activities I do, I glue them onto the paper. So if we, um, you know, made a wall display of different plants, I would do that wall display and then, um, you know, they could do a copy work from the reading from the plants we eat or something um, just to have a record of some work that they've done besides just answering comprehension, comprehension questions because that can get boring for them sometimes. So this is Patterns of Nature. Let me know if you have any questions. I think you can also buy this off of Amazon, but I think it's a little bit more expensive, but um, you would just have to look at that for yourself. So thanks for watching this video. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.